now. The scheme shows the terrible power of shifty loan sharks and ID thieves. They will stop at nothing to fabricate documents and take advantage of Clark County's legal loopholes. It's a case that took us to the coast of California, but it begins at a rundown house in East Las Vegas. I'm just struggling right now. Paul Mangione admits he's on a slippery slope towards self-destruction. He is about to lose his house. A guest lies passed out on the living room carpet, clutching a wad of bills. The house is in tattered conditions and getting worse by the day. And now it's in foreclosure. The confusion and rage is unmistakable. I was ready to flip out. I mean, that's why my walls look like this. I went nuts. Mangione got in touch with a man named Angel Mora, who said he worked for Best Rate Funding, a loan company. He could end the financial troubles. He said, don't worry about it. I haven't taken care of it. I'm just going to get you money. Don't worry about it. Mangione's credit wasn't good enough, but Mora knew exactly how to fix that. Put a woman named Juliet Al on the deed for the house, and the problem is solved. Mangione didn't know Juliet. Angel Mora seemed to have her social security number and more. He said, just let me worry about that. I'll take care of that. He said, but we need to put her on there or else you're not going to get your, your money you need. I said, okay. In Clark County, anyone can be added to a deed with no questions asked. Just put in a name, get a notary to sign off, and you have a new co-owner. And that's exactly what Mangione did. So began a long and thorough process to use Juliet Al and Best Rate Funding to secure a loan. Anytime Mangione questioned Mora, he got the same response. We got to make sure that nobody finds out because she don't know about it. And Mangione didn't care what happened to Juliet Al. He's been leading me along all this time, and I says, I just need the deal done. I, I, I don't care what you do. The tracks lead here to Southern California, specifically San Diego. We came here to investigate suspicions about best rate funding, but also to uncover the real identity and true face of Juliet Al. I'll be 64 uh, November. In a couple of months. This is Juliet Al. The widowed grandmother lives in San Diego and joined us during her lunch break. The paper trail she saw shows a manifesto of corruption and greed. With a house already in Juliet's name, Mora and Mangione doctored the Filipino immigrant's history, remaking her life in their image, weaving together a web of lies. They're professional. It they could create anything. This bad people, they are really professional. The forged paperwork says Juliet lived in Las Vegas for 26 years, even though she's been in San Diego since 1979. They also said she's been renting a property on Piney Summit. That's an important address because it's also the place they said hired Juliet in this made up carpet cleaning company. I work in a finance department. I don't have a background on this cleaning. The Piney Summit address in Las Vegas is actually a vacant home filled Filled with trash, feces, and littered with debris. Neighbors say it's been abandoned for about a month and a half. Angel Mora used to live here. But Mangione and his elusive partner made some other fatal flaws. See, that's not my signature. And then you For all their skills as hucksters, down. Angel Mora yeah, and Paul Mangione forgot uh, one thing, the you. right way to spell Juliet and Al's name. Just regular Juliet, like Romeo and Juliet. But the star-crossed documents show clumsy attempts to spell the name, an extra E here, missing letters there. The so-called employer mangled the name with an extra L. So Juliet gonna... has only one way to describe it. Chop soy, you know how the chop soy is? Mix up, it's like Chinese food, mix, mixture of discrepancy. But what about the company securing the loan, Best Rate Funding? An hour's drive from San Diego, Best Rate Funding's phone numbers no longer work and the eighth floor office in Santa Ana is shut down. A security guard says they closed up shop a month and a half ago. Around the same time, Mora evaporated into thin air. The person answering his phone says he's in Mexico. And like now he's disappeared. And there are still lingering problems. It isn't clear if best rate funding was a pawn in the scheme or a willing participant. There is no one to be held accountable or to clear the company's name. Angel Mora remains on the loose and he may have been investigated by the FBI. The agency would neither confirm nor deny questioning Mora. What is certain? A widowed grandmother in San Diego must now regain her identity and restore her credit. The victim of greed gone wrong. Juliet Al does not know how her information was stolen or how often Angel Moore and Paul Mangione used it. One final piece to all of this, guys. The house in question, the one that we showed mm -hmm. there in the story, the one that Paul Mangione mm -hmm. is trying to save, it went up for foreclosure auction this very afternoon, today, 1 o'clock this afternoon. 
and that's going to show up on Juliet's credit history. Ouch. Good.